reproduction in organism and here we are discussing sexual reproduction. Now what do you mean by sexual reproduction? Sexual reproduction involves formation and fusion of gametes. Now these gametes may belong to one individual or these gametes may come from two organisms belonging to opposite sex. If we are talking about gametes from one organism, the whole organism is bisexual. Bisexual in the sense that organism produces male gamete as well as female gamete. And if we are talking about gametes from two different organisms, example if I want to plot is human, a human egg and sperm comes from two different individuals. So this is your sexual reproduction. Now if you want to compare the difference between sexual reproduction and your asexual reproduction. So your sexual reproduction is very elaborate, complex and slow process in comparison to your asexual reproduction. Now if you are talking about diversity in nature, we all are surrounded by diverse organisms like your plants, different animals we will see, even fungus and many more organisms. This all organisms are different in morphological structure, anatomically as well as physiologically. But when it comes to sexual reproduction, they exhibit similar pattern. That is, all organisms have to reach certain stage of growth and maturity before they reproduce sexually. And this phase in animal is called as juvenile phase. So what is juvenile phase? It is period during which organism reaches stage of growth and maturity before they reproduce sexually. It's called a juvenile phase in animals, whereas in plants, plants may have is called vegetative phase. The same thing in plant is known as vegetative phase. Okay, now if you are talking about plants, so plants may come pata chale ki reproductive phase aara. It's very easy, it is very simple when plant produces your flower. When plant produces flower, that indicates reproductive phase. The end of juvenile phase marks reproductive phase and this reproductive phase in plants can be easily seen when it comes to flowers. Now depending on flowering pattern, plants are classified into three categories that is annual plant, biennial plant and perennial plant. What is the difference between three? If I am talking about annual plant, so this annual plant produces flower in one growing season only. They are uh, undergoing juvenile phase, reproductive phase and they are going to die. So that is your annual plants. Example for the same are your marigold, wheat and rice. If you are talking about your biennial plant, biennial plant ka hota hai, these plants are going to complete their life cycle within two growing seasons. Say for example, for one year they are under juvenile phase, second year is reproductive phase and finally they produce flower, seed and they are going to die. And the example for the same are spinach and lettuce. If we are talking about your perennial plants, so this type of plants, flowers many times. An example for the same are your marigold and coconut. Now if you are talking about bamboo and nilakurenji. Nilakurenji ka scientific name is Sopilanthus kuntia. Now, once again we are talking about bamboo and nilakurenji. They exhibit unusual flowering phenomena. In the sense, if you are talking about bamboo, so this bamboo produces flowers only once in their lifetime, that too after 50 to 100 years. Once again, if you are talking about bamboo, it produces flower once in their life after 50 to 100 years. And if you are talking about Mila Purenji, that is Shopilendus Kuntiana, it flowers every 12 years. It flowers every 12 years. And this case of flowers, they are very beautiful, they are blue in color. So when the flowers, that is called, the phenomenon is called as mass flowering. The phenomenon is called as mass flowering and then when the flowers, they convert hilly areas of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu into blue stretch and attracts many tourists. So these are the unusual flowering.
following phenomena which is exhibited by your bamboo and elaborate ji and ye jo bamboo wala question hai wo is saal board mein pucha gaya hai now if you are talking about females of placental mammals most important thing females of placental mammals they exhibit cyclic changes in the ovaries accessory ducts as well as hormone and such cyclic change in primates such cyclic change in primates jaise ki human apes monkey isko kaha jata hai menstrual cycle whereas such cyclic changes in non primates like cow deer sheep is called as oocystis cycle once again in primate usko bola jata hai menstrual cycle in non primate usko bola jata hai oocystis cycle now depending on this cycle whether they are occurring during favorable seasons or whether they are continued throughout the reproductive phase of an organism the organisms are classified into two categories that is seasonal breeder and we are having continuous breeder what are seasonal breeders there are certain organism who exhibit such cycle during favorable season only and this organisms are called as seasonal breeders there are there are certain organisms there are certain mammals who exhibit such changes throughout the reproductive phase and such organisms are called as continuous breeder now at the end of reproductive phase there comes aging followed by aging organism is going to die 